Hey guys, Tech Bravo here, coming from you know where, the global shed quarters of Bravo Technologies in the geographical center of Tennessee. Hey, um, this is more of just a little um, opinion section or something like that. Uh, not really a rant, not really anything like that. Um, more like a little bit of background. Uh, and how I got into this laser stuff, and uh, a couple of problems that I'm having, especially on social media. So, I got into lasers. Um, I got one of those little bitty, tiny, Niji or whatever, you know, the one, one watt lasers uh, that'll do about a half a business card. And um, it was neat. It was a neat toy. Um, and then very shortly thereafter I had the opportunity to get a ULS 25 uh, US made laser circa 1999 um, with the RF excited metal tube uh, laser in it and that thing was rock solid uh, I learned quite a bit about lasers um, the alignment I worked on that for a solid month so that little bitty toy kind of got me interested in it. And then I got this ULS uh, and then I wasn't sure when it was going to go down. And I knew that a new uh, tube for it was going to be four or $5,000. And even if I get it recharged, I'm looking at a grand or more. So being a hobbyist, I did not um, see the justification in putting that kind of money into it. So uh, I sold it. And ended up getting a K40. One of the best decisions I ever made. You'll see a bunch of crap about these Chinese lasers and how horribly built they are and unreliable and they'll kill you and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, all that's true. Uh, if you're going into a production environment, um, if you do hobbies and crafts and you have a cricket to cut out vinyl and stuff like that, um, K40 is probably a pretty solid machine for you as long as you're a tinkerer. As long as you're a tinkerer. Uh, if you're not, that's where what I'm about to talk about can seriously come into play. So, um, after I got into the K40 deal, I learned about the Cohesion 3D. You know that I uh, swear by that thing and talk about it religiously because I believe in it. It's an awesome product. It's, you know, you've heard all that. Uh, and then when Lightburn came along, uh, it was the perfect complement to that. And, and it just took off from there. Um, I've always been a tinkerer. I like playing with things, high voltage, uh, pyrotechnics, uh, any, anything electronic. I do have an electronics background. Um, operations manager for an IT company and uh, business digital imaging equipment place for almost 15 years as a service technician, manager, uh, whatever I needed to be. Um, so it was a good fit for me, and it was kind of ironic uh, when I look back at it because ever since my kids were very little, uh, for some reason, I've always been into acronyms, reciting acronyms, and laser was one that always got me. Uh, 20 years ago, I started, you know, well, I said it my whole life, um, but when the, when the kids were young, I'd say, hey, do you know what laser stands for? What? Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, and I'd spewed that and spouted it all the time and all the kids know exactly what it is they may not know exactly what's behind it in theory uh, they don't have photonics degrees or anything yet um, but they know what it is so I think it's kind of odd that that's kind of come full circle and now lasers are a big part of the makeup of my evenings and weekends and here, here's, here's what it gets down to Facebook. Um, Facebook is deleting all of my links. Whenever I try to provide a link for support, if it's on one of my sites or one that I that I link a lot, um, it just cuts me down. So I don't know exactly what to do about it. I've done lots of things now. Now, first of all. These are the pages that I manage, the business pages. And I, through these people, 
spend almost $5,000 a month with Facebook doing ads. Um, and I know they don't care about that. They, they don't know me. The algorithm doesn't know that Brian is just trying to help people on the side and not offering services and just trying to, to dispatch some knowledge. They don't know that. I wish they did. Um, so these are all the groups. Many of them are laser groups. Some of them are drone groups. Some of them are vinyl cutter groups. Some of them are 3D printer groups, uh, access database, blah, blah, blah. But most of them are highly technical, and most of them I contribute to in some shape, form, or fashion. So I have a lot of content that keeps going out. So I started the laser thing on my on my main page, right? And I wanted to separate it because the very first group that I joined, probably one of the best on Facebook um, for lasers, um, had a problem because it looked like I was promoting my services. Um, the whole reason I use this platform is because I have built into it my client area, and it has a built-in knowledge base. Uh, it has built-in support. Um, it has built-in support tickets. It, it has all this stuff, see? So I was using a, poly, a platform that I already had in place. Um, but to the admins of the groups that I was in, a lot of times they would see the link, techbravo.net, and, you know, what's he selling or, or whatever. And I was a member of the group, and, you know, I can see how, I can see how that can be a problem. I get it. So then Facebook started uh, killing my links whenever I would link to something laser related from my Tech Bravo page. So I made a subdomain, lasers.techbravo.net, um, which was right here. And all of a sudden, uh, Facebook started blocking those links. So I started something completely new on a completely different server with a brand new domain name. And I'm glad that I did because this is my crowning achievement, I think. Um, I, I build a lot of websites uh, and I do some hosting and stuff. And all of my websites, some of them I'm happy with, some of them I think could be better, uh, but here's some of them that I do. I've actually got quite a few now that I look through the list, more than I, more than I thought. But this here. Lasergods.com is by far the pinnacle uh, of, of my web de development as far as speed, as far as maintaining it, as far as the content that's on it, everything that's on it. So I was able to post for a while, and now anytime I put a link to Lasergods.com, Facebook deletes it as soon as I hit post. I go back, and it's gone. And I'm trying to help people. I'm giving free support that I spend quite a bit of time compiling uh, and I can't get it out there every time I put a link out to help somebody it goes away so I went a step further I made my own let me laser god that for you page right here so my intent was it's on yet another domain my intent was if somebody had a problem with grounding I would type in grounding, do the search, let it make the link, copy the link, and share it. And then it would take you, after the cuteness, um, to a search for grounding. And all the information that you need is all here in one place. Um, here's H.P. Pearson's stuff, all of his stuff on his blog. His blogs show up here. I import them. Um, and then there's links from here to go back to his page. Uh, he has better content than I do, uh, and, and he puts a lot more work into it than I do. And I think that all of his uh, material is relevant, so every time I get the chance, um, I always put his stuff in here too. Uh, and I'm glad to do that. He's a good guy. So here's everything you would ever need to look for. Here's some of Don's stuff. I've got Don's stuff in here. I push him a lot. He really gets into the critical thinking of this stuff and digs deep. And I think that's awesome. So I've started writing my own content. Uh, there's about 400 
pieces of information or articles on here, not including the glossary. Um, and about 25% of it is my own original content. Now, I got to make that table of contents go away on here. This is the glossary. As you're going through the page, whenever you see any of these, they're going to be hyperlinked and it's going to pop up a tooltip. Um, and then if you want to learn more about it, if, if there's an article and it says beam waste in it somewhere and you click it and go read more, it's going to take you to a more in-depth article about it. So I have a full glossary. Okay. I have a full index of every page that's on the site. And what I've been doing recently, and some of the newest stuff you'll see, is if someone has a question and I have enough time to put something together, um, I'll make an article and then send the article. And that way this is content that's going to stay here that everybody can use. This one is how to adjust your uh, steps after you change a motor uh, and, and the degrees per step are different you know you go into the config file that was a specific question by by a specific person I generalized it just a little bit and that content is there and people even if they don't have this particular problem can go through here and look and go oh I get it I see how that works uh, and apply it to some of their own problems uh, my downloads page is getting bigger um, you know I've put a lot of effort into this and for me not to be able to put it out there on these Facebook groups where people are wanting the information drives me bonkers so it brings me to this one and I've been seeing quite a bit of this lately you guys read this the best practices for getting help and support okay It will help. It will help. Um, 75 to 80% of the questions that are asked out there can be found in the documentation. I understand sometimes the documentation can be a quagmire and you need a little help with it. That's great. Start there. Start with the official documentation and support. Um, and search. Man, every group on here has a search. Do you know how many times I've seen what are the best settings for three ply birch? on a K40. Wow. Or how do I align my mirrors? Come on, guys. You got to do a little footwork. You got to think about it. We can't spoon feed you this stuff. I especially can't. I would. And I have been. And that's why they're kicking my links off because I'm putting too many out there. And it's the same ones over and over again. And the algorithm sees that and thinks I'm spamming. So effectively what I'm doing is shooting myself in the foot by helping people answer the same questions over and over again that comes to this one don't ask your questions in multiple places man all those groups over here that I monitor when I have to filter through the same question from the same person in five different groups it leaves a bad taste in my mouth to be real honest with you I have all this stuff and all these things that I'm trying to do and I'm doing all of this on my own time just to help others and and to be bogged down getting hit with this repetitive stuff over and over again it is a real downer okay um and then the be patient thing so i didn't mean to turn this into a rant and i didn't mean for this video to be this long but one thing i haven't done out of all the videos is actually talk about me a little bit I'm always talking about the lasers and I figure you might want to know a little bit about the person behind the fancy lasering goggles. <laughs> this is going to be my trademark. So go to my site. If you have a question, I can't answer it for you because uh, Mark Zuckerberg won't let me and I hope they fix it. Um, go to the site. This smart search will find anything you need to know. If you are having trouble with grounding, there's a few results, but I only have it showing one or two because I want you to hit more. And it'll take you to everything that has to do with grounding. Okay? Um, if, if you're having trouble with uh, beginner stuff, I already have those there for you. Hit more results at the bottom every time. There we go. Beginner's Guide. Beam setting for beginners. 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 
Beginner level articles, man. It's good stuff. There's good stuff in here from me and from everybody else collectively. So there, there's wizards in here. There's a K40 configurator. Watch this. I mean, a uh, cohesion 3D product configurator. Check this out. Okay. Um, is your machine a K40? I'm not sure. So this goes to ta -da, K40 laser and helps you identify your K40. Once you've made the decision, oh, maybe it's not, okay? Um, that's not to say you can't put a Cohesion 3D in there because it depends more on the board that's in the machine, not the machine itself. Then comes the kicker. Does it have an M2 Nano installed? If it does, boom, you're ready to go to the next one. If you're not sure, we have this article that I did, and I'm going to add to this. I'm going to put in each one of these whether the Cohesion 3D Mini is compatible or a suitable replacement for, for all of these. So I have pretty much all the common ones here. Instead of scrolling down through all of them, um, I've got a lot of those. Uh, a couple of the Moshis. Um, well, screw it. Let's go through here. Ruida, um, Anywells, AWC, Litro. Um, I never even heard of this one, but I put it in there because I found it. Um, there's a couple of Moshis, and then here's all the different, uh, boards. The HT Master is in here. That's the one that's in the new K40D. Um, by the way, most of these boards, with the exception of the Moshi, that have the six-pin power connector, uh, will work with the Cohesion because everything else is the same. And I do have an article about the pinouts for that six-pin connector right there. And the Cohesion 3D has screw terminals for these for the laser 24 volt and ground that's all you need is two five and six three wires snip them off there hook them on the cohesion plug your ribbon cable in plug your other stepper motor in good to go so what i'm getting at is all the information you probably ever need to find is going to be on this one site and if you could help me program yourselves and others to go here first and start looking. I believe you'll find that you'll have everything you need right here. I'm going to be adding uh, forums. I'm going to be adding private chats. I'm going to be adding support tickets. I'm going to be adding all kinds of things. I'm going to put a lot more work into this site. And it's frustrating to me that I put all this work into it and I can't get it out there to the people where they can see it. So, a little bit about me, a little bit about what I'm up against right now, a little bit about what you can do to help. So, please, spread the word. Come check the site out. Um, I'm going to put my feedback tab back up here and maybe even a request tab if you have an article you want written. If you have a problem and it's not pressing, maybe you just want to know. Maybe maybe you just want to know, but it's not something where you're waiting on the answer so you can get your laser running. I'm going to put something in there for that too. Uh, and I'm going to legitimately try to write one fresh original article every single day, at least. And I'm going to build this thing up to be the best aggregate source of information for CO2 lasers that there ever was. So... Please help me go to lasergods.com. Maybe before too long, uh, if I can get this thing rolling a little bit, maybe I'll do a giveaway. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do some sort of giveaway and giveaway. I don't know. Um, maybe something like some fancy lasering goggles. What do you think about that? I think that'd be cool. All right. I appreciate your time. Thanks for listening to me. I know I've been rambling on. This is going to be a long video, and I'm not cutting any of it out. Have a good evening, folks. Until next time, be sure and check out lasergods.com and tell somebody about it. Tech Bravo, out.